Hey everyone, today we're running benchmarking tests for the DevCash blockchain. So this is Nick Williams. Hey everybody. He's Devio's Director of Blockchain Development. Mm -hmm. And I'm Tom Anderson, Devio's CEO. So before we get started on the blockchain um, benchmarking, we're going to uh, start recording the screen and then we're gonna have a look at uh, Devio's source code. So right here you can see the latest commit for the branch we're gonna be running the benchmarking scenario with today. Um, the hash is up here in the URL. You can see it matches the commit. And uh, this will be made available for everyone to uh, peruse or play with. Okay, so our test net's gonna go live shortly and everybody's gonna be able to have a look at the source code themselves and, and play with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So uh, why don't you go ahead and get the benchmarking test started. Okay. So I'll start running all these various terminals. So what are you doing and on these uh, these screens? So I'm starting processes for each uh, node. There's three live shards, uh, one T1 shard and two T2 shards. So we have uh, tier two shards that handle the scaling for Devio's blockchain. And then they all coordinate their blocks down to a single tier one shard. Correct. So each T2 shard is bound to a specific subset of the wallets, and those are the only ways that uh, the system receives payments from wallets. Uh, then they aggregate them for the T1 shard, which arranges all the payments globally. Okay. So you just started the benchmarking running, so maybe you could describe what's going on. So right now in this scenario, um, we're doing a couple things. These two, these processes at the bottom are generating a few hundred thousand transactions live. And this top process is uh, parsing a bunch of pre-computed blockchains uh, for 98 more T2 shards. So how many transactions are we processing overall? Over 20 million. Okay, and how long did it take to pre-compute those transactions? To pre-compute the T2 chains took over 80 hours of compute on three machines. Okay, as we um, you know, start showing the, the benchmarking results, um, what, what take me through what's go going to happen after the initial processing. So momentarily, um, it's going to get into the consensus process, which is much faster than the transaction generation. Um, this top row, you see the tier one shard, then tier two A and tier two B. Um, and then over on the right, there's a bunch of Grafana graphs showing the processing. And actually, if you wanna zoom in on this, you can see pretty clearly right here, um, this plateau here is the transaction generation. And then it dropped off because those are waiting to sync for timing purposes with the T1. And the algorithm itself is completely asynchronous, but just to get accurate timing across all the shards, we do the sync step before consensus begins. Okay, so we're getting to a point where we're- and There it goes, consensus just began. Okay. Um, so now we're taking all of the different, you know, T2 shards, and we're actually piping through, you know, their blocks into T1. Correct. And, and we're at a steady state right now, right? Yeah, yeah, so the first block is often um, slightly fast because of the low latency, but once the live transactions start coming in from the other T2s, you get a steady state rate for the next few blocks, and that's really what we care about. After that, the T1 starts getting starved of transactions, and then the throughput gets artificially low. Okay, yeah, because we, we don't have more than 20 million transactions mm -hmm. to process. Yeah, and it's, it's already finished, actually. T1 ran out of transactions to process and stopped. Um, that's a decision we made for benchmarking, just for ease of use. In a live network, obviously, it'll stay up waiting for more transactions. Okay, so it took us 80 hours to create all the transactions, and then it actually just cranks through them and processes them in just a few seconds. Correct, so now I'm gonna grab the logs so we can see the transactions per second. And right there, so we can see this. each of these stats is the, the rate at the point of that block's creation. Okay. Um, so this is actually a very good run. We're seeing you know nine million, nine million, nine million, eight million, seven million, seven million, eight million. So the the numbers you're describing nine million, eight million, seven million. Those are the number of um, transactions per second per block on the T1. Is that right? It's um, 
more or less, it's the number of transactions per second total at the time that that block was finalized. Oh, okay. 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 So we did our final calculation and what's the verdict? So the overall transactions per second in this run was 8.1 million at the steady state. We actually took off the very first block um, because it was artificially fast. It, it was generated within 39 milliseconds, which we attribute somewhat to low latency. We also took off the last few blocks, which were artificially low because of transaction starvation. And uh, what we got overall for the blocks that had low variance in the middle. So was the steady state. The steady state, exactly, yeah. was 8.1 million transactions per second. Okay, great. Well, thanks, Nick. Thanks for taking us through the benchmarking. Mm -hmm.